Hello all, welcome to the web application pen testing course at Pentester Academy. Now in the last video, we saw remote code execution using LFI and Apache log poisoning. In this video, we'll look at RCE with LFI and do SSH log poisoning. Now the victim machine setup remains the same. We use Metasploitable 2 and the vulnerable code is there in LFI.zip which we've used previously but is additionally available for download below this video. Okay, so what is the logic that we will be applying here? Now, SSH logs are sent to auth.log and if that is readable, then we can abuse the username field which is actually logged in the file to do log poisoning. Now, the logic of course remains the same as in the previous video. The username field would contain our PHP web shell which we would then execute using the LFI vulnerability. Uh, the original source for this attack from what I could find online is Landmaster's website. Please have a look. That's the blog post and pretty much this video is a replay of what attack is mentioned in that post. So let's go ahead and do the actual attack. So this is my attacker machine and this is my victim machine running Metasploitable 2. Let me log into my victim machine, which is at an IP address 1.40. Let's give it a bit. The default password is MSF admin. And if we look at where log auth.log you'd actually find that it is pretty much readable by all now let's go ahead and tail on this log there we go actually let's go ahead and remove any existing traces now LFI.zip was unzipped just like the last video and this is the base application and now this LFI.php <coughs> is vulnerable to an LFI vulnerability. So now let's go back in here and let's actually do a quick demo. So let's say I put in even a non-existing username, let's say and try to do an SSH, what we would actually find is that this is logged in auth.log. There you go. If you notice, it says invalid user, right? And this is pasted in as is. Of course, wouldn't make any sense right now to enter password, but we can clearly see that we've logged this twice in the log file. So all we are going to do right now is rather than sending out root toot, we will send in our PHP web shell. So let's do that. SSH, then let's put in our PHP script, it's exactly the one which we used in the last video, system, CMD which will take the command as input and let's go ahead and exit after this. Of course keep in mind even though we are putting this in twice the execution will only happen for the first one uh, because we'll be exiting here. And at the very same time uh, we have to get this right the very first time itself because of the exit. Because anything we log after that will not be executed till the time the logs don't get rotated. 
there we go so let me double triple check that PHP ecosystem command and then we have exit okay looks good to me and before we do that let's first check if where log auth dot log is readable it is if you notice you've read it using the LFI now I can go back in here hit this let's wait for it awesome here we go you have it in here now I can go back in here hit and enter and of course it says cannot execute a blank command that's absolutely fine my friend I'll give you a nice little command to execute and there we go right we have etc password and as you can well imagine from that point we could pretty much do anything Right, you could run a wget, get a PHP metaprater and actually get metaprater on the box. Awesome. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, as I mentioned, the credit for this attack goes to Landmaster. I think it's a very fantastic uh, way of proving that you can even poison other logs apart from the regular Apache. And I would really say when you scan with Nmap, check for which services are existing on the box and see if you can try and access any of their log files using the LFI and if yes then see if the log poisoning is possible so I've already mentioned this to you guys the log poisoning part fantastic and if you're enjoying your time at Pentester Academy then please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community thank you